Just like you and I are different in our DNA, cancers at the molecular fingerprint are different. If we take two tumors from the same patient, when we look at their molecular makeup, each cancer is unique, and we have to attack each cancer based on those unique differences. We are one of a few unique centers that really focuses on genomics and using precision genomics to help our patient care. The genome is simply a blueprint that is in every cell in your body. And what we've learned is that you can get typos or mistakes in the blueprint, which we call mutations. And that's the essence of cancer. So our hope is to really capitalize on this technology to understand where the typos are happening. We hope that that tells us a little bit about why the cancer became a cancer, but more importantly, may teach us a little bit about weaknesses within the cancer so that we can identify drugs that will specifically target those typos and give us a more efficient likelihood of curing it. Genomic technology has been moving at a breakneck speed. The first human genome took 15 years and $3 billion to complete. Today, if you go to our laboratories, we can complete a genome in a few days for a few thousand dollars. We hope that the product of our research is where cancer patients will have a choice to a multitude of drugs, a multitude of therapies to stop their cancer. Quality of life is an important parameter for our cancer patients. Many patients actually fear the drugs more than they fear the cancer itself. And that's because of some of the horrible side effects. We've recently learned that some of our own unique genetic makeup can impact drastically which patients get certain side effects. So by trying to understand before they ever receive the drug, who's more likely to get certain side effects, we can sometimes omit a specific drug to help avoid it or monitor them more closely so that we can be on top of it if indeed it does happen. We offer the best genomic panel in the country in terms of our comprehensiveness. Each patient is deliberated by a multidisciplinary tumor board made of experts of 20 to 30 distinguished faculty, oncologists, scientists, pathologists, surgeons, nursing, pharmacists who work together to be able to come up with the best plan for each patient's genetic makeup. What excites me the most about genomics is I get to come to work every day and be a scientist to cure cancer and be able to do it in a way that doesn't affect our patients' well-being, where patients no longer look at cancers at death sentence, but as a way to move forward with life.